Hello everyone, I'm Jimson Lee for SpeedEndurance.com and welcome to Speed Endurance TV. Today's video is a follow-up from the last video when I talked about using risers or crowns in track spikes. You know, those little plastic washers that come with your spikes that you put between the spike element and the shoe. And in the blog article, which you should read, uh, the great Steve Williams gives his account on how they were developed, how they were invented, and why he liked to use them. Uh, along the way, there was a blog comment saying how the top hurdlers were using them just because it gave more lift to the athlete, to their stride. So I'm like, hmm, let's, let's ask around to see if the top hurdlers are actually using these risers or crowns. So I, I poked around the uh, email and I asked four people. And the first person I asked was Andreas Bem, who is the coach of Aries Merritt, who ran 1280 world record and also the London 2012 Olympic gold medalist. And Coach Bem says, no, Aries Merritt does not use risers. Okay. Second person I asked was David Oliver, who ran 12.89 lifetime best and also the bronze medalist from the 2008 Beijing Olympics. And he says, no. In fact, he just throws them away. So if you're looking for spare risers or crowns, uh, be sure to hit up David Oliver. The third person was Antoine Hicks, and he has a 13.09 to his credit. And he's also a guest writer for speedendurance.com. So be sure to check out his training tips on my blog. And I asked Antoine and he says, no, he doesn't use risers. Okay. So the last person I asked, I said, okay, let's go back in time, uh, you know, not as far back as, you know, Steve Williams, but I asked Mark McCoy, who won the high hurdles in 1992 at the Barcelona Olympics, and he says, no, doesn't use them. So I asked four world-class elite athletes, hurdlers, 110 meter hurdlers, and they all said no. So, you know, maybe it's a very small sample pool, but uh, it just gives you an idea on the controversy or the feel for these little plastic risers or crowns. And, and, and as always, I'd say try it at home, try it at a training run, and before you try them at a race, always be sure to give them a good test run. So that's it for today's video. For SpeedEndurance.com, I'm Jimson Lee, and be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more daily videos.